Welcome back to another episode of Anime of the Week. Today's video is a rather strange one, as we will be covering the Venezuelan poodle moth, a moth that has baffled the internet for quite some time now, and has tricked me at least once. The controversy surrounding the Venezuelan poodle moth comes from its questionable existence. You may have seen this image floating around the internet a few years ago that claimed to be a new type of moth discovered in South America. As you can see from closer inspection, this is not a real animal. It is a felt model of a very fluffy Pokemon-looking moth. However, at the time, a lot of people thought this was real, or that it was clearly a fake. Now, actually, neither side was correct. Obviously, the felt model isn't actually a living moth. However, a moth that is being called the Venezuelan poodle moth does actually exist. But to make things more confusing, the felt model isn't even a model of the supposed Venezuelan poodle moth. Just to recap, as I'm confusing myself even a bit here, the supposed Venezuelan poodle moth is a living moth that was discovered in 2009. This popular picture that circled around the internet, claiming to be the Venezuelan poodle moth, was neither a living moth nor a model of the Venezuelan poodle moth. The felt model is thought to be a model of the Bombyx miori, commonly known as the domestic silk moth, a moth originally from East Asia that has been domesticated over thousands of years for the purpose of farming its cocoon silk. The silk moth bears a strong resemblance to the Venezuelan poodle moth, however they are not the same. This brings us on to the next controversy with this moth. We've established that some kind of moth that is being called the Venezuelan poodle moth does exist, however images of the actual moth are very rare, owing to the fact that it was only first documented in 2009 by a single photographer, Dr. Arthur Anker, on a trip to Venezuela, and few pictures have ever been taken, and even fewer distributed. The only photo that can be found that is undoubtedly our supposed Venezuelan poodle moth is this photo. The others that are found on the internet are all incredibly similar, but mainly predict the previously mentioned domestic silk moth, or the equally fluffy and adorable muslin moth, or even a felt model. Now the reason I keep referring to it as the supposed Venezuelan poodle moth is because we are still not entirely sure that this is a new species. We have established that there is indeed a living moth that looks like this, photographed by Dr. Arthur Anker, and is claiming to be a completely new species of moth called the Venezuelan poodle moth. There is just not enough evidence to support this. As it was only documented in 2009 by a single photographer, and only a few images exist of it, there simply hasn't been the scientific backing or corroboration to agree on if this is a new species or not. One thing is for certain, the moth in this picture is a real living moth, which is probably what matters the most, as we all just want to be able to daydream about petting it. But as of the upload of this video, the jury is still deciding if it's a real species. The fact that it is so similar to many other fluffy and adorable moth species means that many believe it could be one one of these. If the Venezuelan poodle moth were to be a new species, it is believed it would be classified in the genus Artaceae, a genus that consists of a lot of moths almost exactly like it. This, for example, is Artaceae cerabrius, also known as the dot-lined white moth, and is native to the American Deep South. This is Artes argentina, native to, you guessed it, Paraguay, and also Argentina. So you see, there is a very real possibility that this is not at all a new species, just an already existing species that has been found in a new area. But it is a real living moth, and this is just a felt model. Now because of the questionable existence of the moth, these next few sections will be rather short, so we can briefly speculate on the details of this species, as despite there not being enough evidence, there very well could be a new species. The pictures were taken in Gran Sabana, an area of southeastern Venezuela full of high altitude savanna steppe and gallery forests, so let's assume this is their normal habitat. On to diet. Most moths feed on nectar, fruit juices, animal dung, and other small sources of protein, so we can assume these moths would be much the same. Obviously we don't know anything about their mating behaviour, but most moths breeding technique are rather straightforward. Pheromones are crucially released in order to attract mates over large areas, the male then mounts the female when they find each other, and will quickly release the sperm. Usually the female moths will lay eggs attached to different surfaces like grass or leaves. Adaptations. Well here we can't really speculate, I guess what I can say is that they have adapted to be able to fly, developing wings. And finally threats. Again, nothing really to say here, as how can we know if a species is under threat if we aren't even sure it's a new species? Thanks for watching this video. I know it's a different format to other Animal of the Weeks, but I just found this an incredibly interesting animal that I had seen shared around on the internet, and I wanted to set a few things straight about it, as much for your benefit as mine, because I was still very unsure about the existence of this animal. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it and if you'd like to see more from us.